what's going on. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about how you can travel and you can make money with the ATM business. I think a lot of people, they don't get into the ATM business because it seems like a like brick and mortar or like a traditional tangible thing, which it is. And that's the reason that I got into the business because it's tangible, right? Here's what, here's what I like about it. You hear that? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? It's tangible, man. You know what I mean? You can look at it. You can see it. You can touch it. You can smell it. That's why I like the ATM business. But here's the deal. You can buy real estate in another in another city, right? In another state. People do it all the time. I mean, if every real estate investor just bought and owned all of their real estate in one city, they'd never get truly wealthy. So if you're watching this video right now and uh, you know you thought like, oh man, I can't get into the ATM business because I want to travel and live the laptop lifestyle. Um, well, you could do that, right? Just like the ATM, or just like the Amazon business, just like Shopify, okay? Just like really any other business model, you can do it virtually. And I'm gonna show you how. I'm actually gonna pull out my phone here. Let's see what kind of profits we made uh, this week, okay? I'm gonna show you um, the profits that we made in our ATM business while we were traveling. Now, here's what I want you to remember. You just have to put systems and processes in place to be able to travel, right? To be able to do what it is that you want to do while you travel, okay? So uh, Columbus data, okay, is, is our is our login. So check this out, okay? I'm traveling right now. Balance is is 5,700. I uh, did 232 dollars of surcharge, okay? 66 total transactions in one day, and that is that was yesterday, okay? So I've got a ton of ATMs that are doing this. Look, you just have to. You've got to just figure out how you want to do the ATM business, right? I think a lot of people, they think they've got, you've got to buy the ATM, you've got to be the one loading it, you've got to find the location. You could do all that, that's the traditional way of doing it, but there's about five other ways you can do it as well. It's not extremely complicated. We're in Bellevue right now, there's people honking as you can tell, and uh, we're about to walk into the Safeway. Look man, I'm just living my life. I'm, I'm being real and raw and authentic with you, right? We're just living our life. The guy behind the camera, you'd never think in a million years he'd ever hold a camera, right? So we're just, we're just living our life, okay? We're gonna walk in here. People think we're probably crazy. And that's, that's just the reality of it, right? It's the reality of the world we live in. So, um, look man, I mean, I'm gonna sit down here in a minute and I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how you can get into the ATM business, okay? So if you haven't already, subscribe. I'm gonna grab something from the store and then we're gonna sit down. So don't click off the video. We're gonna sit down and I'm gonna show you how you could literally land an ATM in a store like this, right, in a Safeway in Bellevue, the people here probably don't need cash, but I'm gonna show you how you can get an ATM in a location where they do need cash, and how you can make residual income from anywhere in the world. And I'm gonna make it simple, like three steps, three steps or four steps to get into the ATM business within like seven days from right now, like, like immediately, okay? So stay tuned, and we're gonna sit down right now. All right, I'm back here in my hotel room, and I'm actually filming another video, okay? Um, but my camera, the other camera just died, so uh, we're gonna just go ahead and jump back into uh, what we were talking about, which is the ATM business, how you can travel, how you can get into the ATM business, and just me being real, raw, and authentic with you, okay? So, um, you know, look, at the end of the day, there's multiple ways, I, and I've talked about this in other videos, okay? I've talked about it before, I'm gonna say it again. There's multiple ways to get into the ATM business. I think. You know, if you're watching this video right now, it's because you like passive income. You like the idea of passive income and you like the idea of making money, right? I mean, who doesn't like the idea of making money, okay? So, you know, you like the idea of making money, you like the idea of passive income, but maybe you're an entrepreneur, but maybe you're not an entrepreneur. Maybe you work a nine to five, right? Maybe you, you're a firefighter, you're a stay at home mom, you're, you're whatever, and I like totally am on board with that, okay? I love people that like have a calling or a niche in their life and they pursue it and they chase their passion. Like it's so amazing. We need people like that, okay? We need people like you, but maybe you wanna make a little bit more money on the side. That is not a bad thing. Look, the ATM business is for you, okay? So um, I'm gonna slow down and we just go and talk real quick, okay? Um, look, the ATM business is a business where um, there's multiple different ways to get into it, okay? Well, like I was saying a minute ago. So way number one, is that you buy an ATM, we already talked about that, right? You buy an ATM, you put your own cash into it, you land the location, okay, great. Way number two is you get a little bit more creative and you say, okay, well, I'm gonna buy an ATM, but I don't wanna load my own cash into it, right? Uh, I'm gonna find somebody else to do that for me, okay? So I'm just going to pay them to load my machine, right? But I'm still making the majority of the profit because I am the machine. It's in a location of my choosing. Uh, maybe you've done all the negotiations or all the due diligence on your end. Um, but at the end of the day, now you don't have to do anything, right? Because the only thing that makes the ATM business not passive, meaning you've got to like take time and energy and actually like go do the ATM 
um, or go to the ATM to, to, to work, to do whatever, is to fill it or to maintenance it, right? Those would be the only two reasons that it would make it not passive, right? That would be the argument. It's just like real estate, right? It's, a, it's like saying, if I don't have a property management company and the toilet breaks, what am I gonna do, right? I, you, somebody's gotta fix the toilet. You've got somebody, the, the tenant has to be able to call somebody, right? So it's either gonna be you or the property manager. So with the ATM business, in order to get it passive, so like your property manager, in a sense, would be somebody that could actually load it with cash for you, right, on your behalf, like totally. Now, you step out of the equation, you just buy the hardware, and um, essentially you could travel the world, do whatever you want, right? You could own three ATMs, you could own five, you could own 10. Um, look, I mean, if you get a couple of good locations, I mean, you know, I don't want to make income claims, so that's not what I'm going to do here, but I mean, you can make really good money, right? Like, th I mean, I I'll just tell you this, my average ATM, right? I I I'm not looking for these home run freaking, you know, not get this ball out of the ballpark. That's not what typically I do in my business. What I do is, is I consistently land $500 a month machines, right? 500 bucks a month profit, 500 bucks a month profit, 500 bucks a month profit. I could find, if I could get 500 bucks a month profit on a machine, then that is a good machine for me personally. That's just for me, right? So you gotta figure out for you what that looks and feels like. But look, I, I mean, $2,500 machine to make $500 profit is, is like a no brainer. Okay, do the math on that. I mean, you're, you're making your money back in five months every single time, okay? So if you can do that, if, if I told you right now, like that is 100% possible for you to do, um, I mean, the question becomes, why aren't you doing it, right? So that's way number two, get somebody to load it for you, okay? Way number three is just to do processing for people, right? To essentially, um, you know, like deal, and kind of in a way, what we've started to do a little bit, okay? Um, which is not a bad business model, right? You've gotta do it at a way bigger scale in order to make any, any money. Um, but we'll actually do processing for people. And that's something that you could eventually do if you're watching this video right now. It's just gonna take you a little bit of time. You've gotta get into the business and wrap your brain around it a little bit more and understand the business a little bit more. Um, there are a couple of other ways you can get into the ATM business as well. Um, I'm probably not gonna share them on this video, but I will share them on another video. Um, so if you, if you like this video, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, smash the freaking like button, and I'd love to make another video like this, right? I'd love to make more videos talking about passive income and the ATM business and, and real estate, right? These are things that I know very well. I understand these businesses at a very high level. I understand mindset, right? I understand that, okay? So I, I'm willing to talk about anything that I get, anything that I understand, um, and yeah, I'd love to I'd love to do more of that. So drop in the comment section down below what you would like to see in another video. Remember, those are the top three ways to get into the ATM business. If you're not in the ATM business and you want to make passive income, what in the world are you doing, okay? Um, it's a phenomenal business. If you need any help at all, I'd be happy to help. Just drop in the comment section. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.